Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be breaking down the new photos, the new promo that was released for Episode 1. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So yeah, The CW has just released the first look photos at The Flash Season 7, Episode 1, titled All's Wells That Ends Wells. So this comes after The Flash just released a new trailer, it released a new poster, it released a synopsis which we went over in yesterday's video, go check that out after this if you haven't checked that out already. So they're on a streak of promoting episode 1 and promoting the new season premiere, so I'm very excited to talk about this and I'm so happy that it's finally all happening and we should be expecting a new promotional trailer, like a small little promo sometime in the next week or so, especially because Superman Lois is premiering next week, which we will be covering on the channel. Gonna have a few Superman Lois videos out before it premieres next week. So be on the lookout for my Superman Lois coverage. Okay, so now let's officially go in and dive deep and break down all these promo photos that have just been released. So the first photo sees Barry with Chester P. Runk. And so I'm guessing the reason for the scene is Chester is helping out with Nash and they're trying to figure out how to get Barry's speed force back because Chester is pretty much, you know, like a new version of Zisco. He's very smart and I think Nash will definitely need his help. And so this is just a normal cortex. Okay, then we move on and we've got a close up of Barry and it seems to be in Star Labs. Again, you can't really make out much apart from his facial expression which just seems to be a bit blank or maybe he's a bit lost. Anyway, let's move on. So we've got Chester as well here, so maybe it's all part of the same scene, but Chester is sitting at his desk like he normally is, and so he's just working on something, and I think he's talking here with Barry as well. So then we move on to the next photo, and this is of Allegra, who, along with Nash, is going to be probably helping Barry because Allegra's story right now and what they've teased is going to be pretty much combined with whatever Nash is doing because they have that special connection that was established towards the end of last season. So I reckon she's here in a scene and Nash is there as well. And then you have Nash actually in this photo and so he's seemingly in the medical lab. Doesn't really look like the speed lab or anything. Anyway, it's somewhere in Star Labs and he is crossing his arms. He is looking and listening to Barry in this next photo. So definitely in the medical lab. And this is the most interesting photo among the bunch. Because you can see here that he is wearing glasses and it's not just some random glasses that Barry just needs because suddenly his vision has got weaker because we never seen Barry Allen with glasses before. So there must be some sort of explanation for this. And I think there may be because these glasses aren't just any sort of glasses. These are in fact Wells' glasses, the ones that Reverse Flash wore in Season 1, Harrison Wells. So somehow they have got the exact same glasses and somehow Barry has got it on. And the reasons to why, this could be part of Nash's plan. So I'm just going to quickly go over the season premiere synopsis because it does detail some stuff that I want to break down to do with this photo and some later photos. So it goes like this, and yes, I did break it down in yesterday's video, so if you want a full in-depth breakdown of the synopsis, go check that out, but I'm just going to reiterate it and say it again here to emphasize my point in this photo. And so it goes like this, when an experiment to save Barry's speed backfires, Nash Wells searches for a way to save the Flash and comes up with a dangerous plan. Meanwhile, Iris makes a startling realization inside the Mirrorverse, and Cecile faces off against Rosa Dillon. Okay, so the first bit is what we want to talk about here. So Nash is doing an experiment and he's trying to save the Flash. And we talked about the idea of him saving the Flash, like is the Flash in danger? Is he about to die or something? Or is he in peril basically, right? So that's what save implies. But in terms of him coming up with a dangerous plan, could this be the dangerous plan? It seems that maybe this could be. So with him wearing Reverse Flash's glasses, is he somehow tapping into the Reverse Flash? Is he somehow trying to see how Thorn would maybe operate and create this new artificial speed force? Because we know Thorn is the only person to have ever created 
an artificial speed force before. So is this part of Nash's plan? that somehow they're going to link up Barry's consciousness to Thorn, who is out there somewhere in the multiverse. Now, I know that sounds a little bit crazy, but why on earth would he be wearing Thorn's glasses if it wasn't part of their plan? So, Barry didn't just lose his sight or something, so it's something important, and maybe this is part of the experiment, and I don't know if this is the experiment that backfires, or if this is the dangerous plan. I'm going to say it's the dangerous plan that comes after the backfiring experiment, and maybe the backfiring experiment could be the thing that we saw in the Flash Season 7 trailer, where Barry was running around in the speed lab, and his lightning turned blue, so maybe that plan was to use Velocity 9 and it backfired, because we see in the trailer in that clip, his lightning turns blue, so maybe that is the plan that backfires, or maybe the Velocity 9 is the kind of dangerous plan that I talked about earlier. I think it can go either way, but it's definitely part of Nash's plan, him wearing the reverse flash of his glasses. And so, moving on to the next photo, we've got another photo of Nash. Obviously, this is Nash's episode, which was intended to be the third to last episode of last season, but now it's been changed into the season premiere. And I think the way that they're going to make it like a season premiere is kind of focus it more on Barry getting his speed back and Iris trying to get out, alongside the Nash stuff. But I think it's helpful for them that Nash's story in this episode is heavily linked to Barry and him trying to become the Flash, trying to get his speed back, and that is kind of what Nash is working on for the most part of the episode. I think that is actually very much in their favour because it's going to be more like a premiere because he's going to be trying to get his speed back, he's going to be trying to save Iris. I think the stakes are there and it's going to be exciting for fans. Okay, so yeah, he's here, he's very kind of lost. I think he's struggling, he's trying to think, how am I going to get Barry's speed back, like what plan am I going to have to do, and maybe at this point or just shortly after he comes up with his dangerous plan, and that is what happens, and potentially this is in the same room as this next photo, because the lighting looks pretty similar, although it's a bit more bright on Nash, you see Allegra, obviously she's very linked to Nash in this episode and this season, but she doesn't look too pleased or too excited, she just looks pretty dour as well, so you can kind of tell that they're feeling some sort of similar thoughts because maybe they're in on this together. Okay, so let's move on to the next part, and this was mentioned in the synopsis that Cecile is facing off against her own big bad in this episode, Rosa Dillon, aka the top. So the top premiered in season 3, she was in the future Flash episode, and she appeared with the first Mirror Master. And so in this photo you get to see the top, she is inside CCPD, I would suppose. It looks like she's smoking or something, I don't know if that is actually legal inside there. Anyway, she's there, she's in her prison uniform, you know, it's all orange and everything and she's there facing off with Cecile. And it looks like Cecile is maybe trying to break her file or something, like she's trying to keep her in prison, essentially, because, you know, she's a villain and maybe she is about to be released or something. I don't know why she's specifically here. Maybe she escaped and they were able to bring her back in. And it looks like this is the questioning room that they're normally at. And so Cecile has her file open, it looks like. And so this was some of the stuff that was shot before the pandemic, before everything shut down with the Flash back in March. And this was just intended to be like a one episode short kind of side story to give Cecile something to do and, you know, bring back the top who was a pretty light character, but she literally only showed up once. But from the DC fandom trailer, we know that she's going to be manipulating Cecile because they have similar empath powers in the series so that's going to be exciting to kind of look at and then over on the other side in the mirrorverse you have the next photo which sees barry and iris are sitting down they're having big belly burger and this is the point in the last trailer that they just released that iris realizes oh crap this isn't real my head is playing games with me and so i think this is at the point where iris realizes she needs to get out of here because it's messing with her and it turns out Barry's actually not here, so we saw that in the trailer, and pretty much, you know, the images kind of pick up where the trailer left off and adds a bit more context to what's going on. And the final photo of the whole batch is of Iris, and it seems like Iris has somehow got access to a computer in the Mirrorverse, unless Iris has somehow escaped. 
So I don't know if there's any point in her using the computer in the Mirrorverse because if you remember back in the season finale last year, anytime they looked at like a TV screen or a computer screen, everything was backwards. So unless Iris has been able to somehow read backwards, I'm not sure why she would be looking at a computer. So maybe this is part of her new abilities since she's been here for so long, the Mirrorverse has manipulated her and somehow she's able to read the computer unless she has somehow escaped the Mirrorverse and she's back in the normal dimension. But yeah, so that's about it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, live stream tomorrow, we're going to be talking about all of this news and hopefully we'll have a few special guests on and we'll discuss lots of different topics to do with DC TV. Also, in the next few days, like I mentioned at the start of the video, we're going to be doing more Superman and Lois videos. I have about two videos planned before Superman and Lois's premiere next Tuesday as I endeavor to do Superman and Lois videos because it is a Supergirl spin-off after all and we cover Supergirl a lot on the channel and considering that Supergirl is going away I'm going to be making the effort to make lots of Superman and Lois videos and it's all really down to you guys because it's only really worth it to make videos on a new show if you guys pay interest and you actually watch the videos every day every time they come out so please be sure to watch the videos if you're interested in Superman and Lois and I will know to keep on making them. And obviously we're going to continue with The Flash for as long as it runs. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy the video. Please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new so you don't miss any videos. And for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red. Heartbeat.